everybody we're back in the parking lot about to show you another advanced pattern this one is all about controlling your bike at a slow speed and this one called a double circle now when i set it up i will use a lot of cones you don't need many cones with this use what you can and the object of this is to ride <laughs> as you guys can see i'm backing a lot with the, <laughs> the rooster making all this noise and as you ride this pattern the object is to ride between the two circles and not hit any of the inner cones just as you're riding <laughs> just as if you're riding on a curve out in the street you want to stay on the outside and if it's a decreasing radius stay on the outside as much as you can that is what this represents because you will go, be going in a circle i will ride it in a circle then go around the opposite way and ride it the opposite way now the thing is you can ride slow and keep your bike relatively straight up as you can pick up speed you start leading the bike a little bit more but you don't want to lean too much because you do not want to hit the inside cones you want to stay on the outside as much as you can and ride it in both directions simple pattern to set up is just a circle you can make the circle as big as you want to or small as you want to if you're at the advanced level make it smaller if you're at the intermediate or beginner level make the circle huge now regards to how you set the circle up remember it's representing riding on a corner when you're cornering you want to stay on that outside no matter what direction you go i will set it up and ride both directions to show you how you should be doing this simple and easy but remember stay in the friction zone steady throttle get some power to that rear wheel and little pressure on the rear brake you don't want your rear brake bouncing like this when you're riding use it to control your speed and as you start leaning a little bit more you want to look far ahead as possible to complete the circle and the circle could be long, as long as you wide as you want it like i said before but then measure five and a half to four and a half feet in and then make your second circle i probably put it at three and a half feet i don't know yet so anyway let me get it set up and then we're gonna ride it put my gear on all the gear all the time so stay tuned okay now i'm gonna run through it right quick to show you guys how it should be done take your time you don't have to go fast as you progress you can go fast but the object is not to knock down any of the middle cones right on the outside as if you was riding on the curve outside inside out but here you're not coming in you're just riding on the outside you can have your bike straight up as you start leaning a little bit more you probably start going in the inside keep it steady keep your throttle steady up lip it if you like so let's get this going right quick what i'm going to do first is start riding to my left enter any way you want to and as you can see bike is riding straight up just leaning just a little bit and as i stated before the smaller cones are three and a half feet away from the taller cones on the inside it's nice and slow ride just to show that you have control and a firm grasp of the friction zone. You can blip it if you want. Go anywhere. I got a little pressure on the rear brake. I'm covering. And as you start to go faster, you're going to want to lean in a little bit more. But you're going to find out that you might hit the cones if I lean in a little bit more. This is about having control. And when you have control over your bike, you get better and better and have more fun. So now I did it to my left. I'm going to turn around and go to the right. Now, you don't need this many cones. I'm just using a lot of cones that can be picked up on camera. You can use as little as eight cones. And like I said, this is a huge circle. The inner cones are at 40 feet. Now, the wider the circle, the faster you can go, but you still need to put it at three and a half feet. Now, if you're just starting out and having problems hitting the inner, the inner, inner cones, then spread it out to five feet or maybe six feet. And you can actually sit and ride your bike around this all day without running into any of the inner cones. As I go faster, here I go, let's pick the speed up a little bit more. But you still wanna go and not hit the inside cones. As you go faster, you're gonna lean a little bit more, but you still gotta stay on that outside cone. You're gonna end it right here. So that's it. That's one of the advanced double circles. Now you can put it as wide as you want if you want to go a little faster.
going to do a little bit more advanced, going up to level four, put it in short. That is just that simple. Go out there and practice and get those skills at a higher level. You're going to have a lot more fun. And when you get control over your bike through the friction zone, there's nothing like it. You are going to love it. That's all I have for today. So if you got something out of the video, you like videos like this, go down and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be reminded when we put more parking lot practice videos up. We're going to keep the skills, advanced skill patterns going as much as we can. Until then, if you're out riding, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. For Bush and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace. Peace.